सो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल गोविंद नारायण पुरोहित वेर इन वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द वेरियस टॉपिक्स ऑफ थीरियोजिनोलॉजी एंड इन आवर टूडेज टॉपिक वी डिस्कस समथिंग अबाउट द जिनाइटल सर्जरीज ऑन द मेल डोमेस्टिक एनिमल्स फ्रेंड्स सर्जरीज ऑन द मेल डोमेस्टिक एनिमल्स आर परफॉर्म फॉर टू पर्पजेज फॉर फिजियोलॉजिक रीजन्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल कैस्ट्रेशन एंड प्रेपरेशन ऑफ द टीजर बुल्स and then the second would be the management of pathological conditions now castration of male animals also known as orchiectomy or orchidectomy is any action surgical chemical or otherwise by which an individual loses use of the testicles the main gall male gonad the surgical castration is bilateral orchiectomy excision of both testicles and chemical castration uses pharmaceutical drugs to deactivate the testes castration causes sterilization it also greatly reduces the production of certain hormones such as testosterone castration of male cows destined for beef production is one of the most common livestock management practices performed procedures involve surgical removal of the testes or methods that irrepar irreparably damage the testicles by interruption of the blood supply using a castration clamp the burdizu castration rubber rings or latex band the benefits of castration include a reduction in aggression and mounting behavior of males causing fewer injuries in confinement operations castration is also performed for making males docile to be used for draft purposes castration also prevents physically or genetically inferior males from reproducing now here are some of the terms that are used for castrated males a uh, castrated cattle uh, is known as a, a steer or ox or bullock whereas a uncastrated adult is known as a bull and a young male is known as a calf for sheep it is known as uh, a castrated adult is known as wether wether dinmont or stag uh, and similarly for goat a castrated adult pig is known as barrow or hog and a horse castrated horse is known as geld or gelding a castrated cat is known as male cat is known as a gib and a castrated chicken is known as a capon now the word steer is used for um, cattle wherein castration is performed on young calf and the term ox is used for castration performed on a mature bull an incompletely castrated male in livestock species horse and cattle is known as a rick and the term stag is used for a male animal castrated after the appearance of secondary sexual characteristics castration of cattle has historically been done without pain medications all methods of castration cause pain and distress which can be minimized by castrating as early as possible preferably within the first week of life certain animals like horses and swine are usually surgically treated with the scrotal castration which can be done with the animal standing while sedated and after local anesthetic has been applied while others like dogs and cats are anesthetized and recommend when surgically castrated with a pre scrotal incision in the case of dogs or a pre scrotal or scrotal incision used for cats in veterinary practice an open castration refers to a castration in which the inguinal tunic is incised and not sutured a closed castration refers to when the procedure is performed so that the inguinal tunic is sutured together after incision now what are the physical methods of castration of male animals the use of rubber rings the use of emasculator commonly known as the burdizu castrator and surgical castration this is the best age for castration of spe different species cattle 1 to 2 months sheep and goat 2 weeks pigs first week of life horse 1 to 1.5 years of age the best season for castration is early spring or late fall when there are little of flies and other problems now this is a rubber ring which can be used for castrating male calves and only use rubber rings in calves less than 1 week of age using them in older calves causes more pain and distress and increases the risk of complications particularly tetanus Castration negatively affects the normal development of the penis and urethra and thus increases the incidence of urinary calculi because of stenosis of the uh, ureters. The Burdizu castrator as shown over here 
different size of Burdizu castrators are available and Burdizu castration is a bloodless method of castration using specialized tool which cuts off the flow of blood to the testicles and causes them to be reabsorbed if done correctly. The Burdizu is used primarily on farm animals such as cattle and sheep. The Burdizu cuts the spermatic cord. Uh, Here you can see a male calf is being sterilized by using a Burdizu castrator and sheep are uh, sterilized using the Burdizu castrator. The spermatic cord with the blood vessels leading to the testicles are crushed and they uh, are severed apart. One spermatic cord is clipped at a time and uh, the two spermatic cords must be clipped at different levels. The scrotal sac will receive any enough blood otherwise it will become gangrenous then uh, there is thrombus formation in the spermatic vessels and arrest of blood supply leading to gradual atrophy of the testicles this is how castration using a rubber ring or this is how the castration using a burdizu is uh, performed this is again these pictures show the use of burdizu castrator uh, this is the crushed area clamp crushed area then there is the method of surgical castration of male animals it is either open or closed as discussed previously an incision is given in this way on the side of the scr uh, scrotum next uh, to the leg or it is given below the testicles the testicles the fascia is separated from the spermatic cord and the testicles are pulled downwards then this is the site for emasculation. These sites uh, are used for uh, using a masculator. These are cut. This is a masculator and this is how it is applied. Uh, and uh, you can see in this picture it is being cut. Then uh, the next uh, surgery uh, for physiological reason is preparation of teaser animals. Teaser bull preparation procedures can be divided into two categories that those that block the semen flow and deliver sterility for example vasectomy and epididymectomy and those that prevent penile penetration penile prepuce translocation penopexy and formation of a prepucial pouch these are some of the anesthetic protocols used in bulls under field conditions one can use xylagen or uh, ketamine or xylagen ketamine mixture xylagen telazole and this is the duration of the anesthesia this is the root and this is the dose schedule now epididymectomy uh, cutting the epididymis uh, and then vas deference two procedures uh, can be performed vasectomy and vasotomy and for uh, penis penectomy penopexy phylectomy or translocation are used for uh, in this picture it is clear that uh, this is how pino, pinectomy is performed, pinopexy is performed, vasectomy cutting the vas deferens and then the vasotomy and then pinopexy cutting parts of the penis and translocation of the penis and prepuce. Uh, now the epididymis. Epididymectomy can be performed standing with local block used in combination with other procedures. A masculatome can be used. A proper uh, a problem if proper clamp is not applied per spermatic cord you can uh, see here the spermatic cord is cut so the epididymis is cut and so the sperms cannot travel further the most common procedure performed for preparing teaser bulls is vasectomy uh, ligation and transaction of the vas deferens is the procedure and then vasotomy transaction and reattachment to the exterior allowing evacuation of the semen but this procedure is tedious and has no clear advantage of over vasectomy. Vasectomy is performed in standing lateral or dorsal recumbency. There is preparation of the scrotal neck with local block and 1 to 2 inches vert vertical incision in the neck of the scrotum proximal to the testicle is given. This is extended into tunica dartos to expose the spermatic cord and blunt dissection is done to continue through tunica vaginalis. To isolate the ductus deferences. One must visualize the cremaster vein and artery, avoid ligating them and transacting these. Then two ligatures using absorbable monofilament, two in a part are given and then transect in between. 
close the tunics and the skin. Then uh, procedures performed on the penis and pupils, penopexy, penile fixation. Penis is fixed to prevent extension, high and low options. Penectomy, urethrostomy with penis removal, high and low options. Phylectomy, amputation of the distal penis and translocation, tunneling or Z-plasty. This is how penopexy is uh, performed and uh, parts of the penis are cut and then uh, sutured back so that the size of the penis is reduced and the bull cannot introduce his penis into the female vagina. Then uh, standing procedures for phylectomy or penectomy using caudal epidural anesthesia and pudendal nerve blocks plus light sedation. But the urethra must be kept patent. The most common procedure is penile translocation or Z-plasty. Uh, the bulls that have uh, in which the uh, penis has been deflected to one side so that they cannot uh, use uh, their penis for introduction into the female vagina and such bulls in which penile translocation has been performed are known as the gomer bulls. Then post surgical care is needed. Uh, one must monitor for excessive bleeding and uh, one should not put the bulls uh, to uh, they must the bulls must be given sexual rest for three to four weeks then surgeries for the pathologies of the male reproductive organs the surgeries for repair of pathological conditions of the male reproductive organs include the surgeries of the penis and pupils and surgeries of the epididymis and testes the major surgeries on the penis and pupils include repair of the pupusial injuries, surgical correction of the penile frenulum, correction of the penile hematoma, and removal of penile tumors. Pupusial injuries could be lacerations, avulsions, and contusions of the pupils, and they can be uh, repaired surgically after debridement and after uh, sanitization, or then they are sutured. Prepucial prolapse, the prepucial prolapse must be reduced, but reduction is not possible if fibrosis is already present and the case is very old. Prepucial prolapse is managed conservatively. The edema can be reduced by application of a combination of, of lanolin, scarlet oil, and tetracycline. The prolapse is reduced and retained in the prepucial cavity by purse string suture or with a tape and tube retention device for two weeks, allowing the damaged pupils to heal as shown in these pictures. Prepucial abscess, bulls with prepucial abscess seldom recover and once you drain out the material from the abscess, again it will be difficult to manage the contamination in that area and so and there will be development of many adhesions. So bulls with prepucial abscess seldom recover. Then prepucial amputation, there are two techniques, inserting a plastic syringe case followed by circumferential incision or a V-shaped incision uh, as shown here. Then reefing or segmental posthectomy or circumcision. This is done under general anesthesia. Penrose drain is placed around the penis and prepuce to serve as a tourniquet. The prepuce is inside circumferentially, proximal and distal to the tissue to be removed and connected by a longitudinal incision. Then prepucial stoma is a new surgical approach for semen collection from bulls with prepucial stenosis. This is how a new opening is made and semen can be collected from bulls with prepucial stenosis. Then penile tumors, they are rare, they are removed by normal or cryosurgery. Surgical excision of the persistent penile frenulum is a uh, not a difficult uh, job and one can cut it and then apply emollient creams. Then penile hematoma, the cavity of the hematoma is exposed surgically and drained with normal saline solution. The surgery for connection, correction of penile deviation uh, uh, has also been performed at many places. Then surgeries of epididymis and testes include co caudal epididymectomy, removal of the ectopic testes and unilateral orchidectomy. So these are some of the surgeries performed for the pathological conditions of the male animals. You can contact me at my email gnpobs at the rate gmail.com. This is my LinkedIn channel link and this is my YouTube channel link. Kindly listen to the lecture completely. 
गिव योर कमेंट्स गिव योर सजेशंस एट माय चैनल एंड शेयर द वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल गोविंद नारायण पुरोहित इफ यू लाइक देम थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच